you folks. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm Cody with Ironverse Comics. And uh, we're doing another Ironverse Comics quickie. This time on Adobe Kroger Dame Commander by these wonderful folks. And guess what? We're on issue two. Yeah, I'm a little behind. I've actually been needing to do this one for quite a bit of time. And uh, in fact, uh, let's give a little context as I try to do every time. Uh, this review is based on a second reading of this issue. Uh, the first being when I received it quite a bit ago. I mean, this is... I, I don't even remember the time frame, but it was early in the year, if I'm right. Um, I did remember some bits, uh, which upon the second reading, they stuck out even more. Um, I also know the creator well enough to consider a colleague and, dare I say, a friend. But, as is tradition with this series, that, that ain't worth spit when I'm looking at the work as it stands. Um, if you haven't seen my first quickie on Adobe Kroger Game Commander issue number one, uh, go watch that before this. Or better yet, just save you some time, go to mythoverse.com and pick up both issues. You won't regret it. But, let's get to why we're here. Issue number two here uh, picks up directly after number one. The highlights of number one, um, strong characterization, beautiful black and white artistry. In fact, let me uh, just pick a random page here and you'll see just gorgeous, gorgeous line work here. I'm going to give you this, this wonderful double page spread. Yeah, take a look at that. Um, it clearly, uh, the, the, the black and white artistry clearly communicates the story and it just adds so much flavor to it. And, it just blooms even more in this issue. She, Miss Adobe gets more chances to shine, and, and so did our wonderful artist here. Um, this issue, as you can maybe see from the, uh, the pages I kind of previewed there, it felt a little more on the action and character building side than issue one, which kind of just wanted to give you footing, I think. Um, this has a dive into Adobe's past, um, presented during a particular difficult conflict in the story, and the team <laughs> seemingly falling apart at the seams by the end. Uh, this issue raised the stakes, as it should, with little relief. You don't... This isn't a calm read, by any means. It's very full of anxious action. Um, that little relief, it does come back to haunt the execution, in my opinion, without a number three to dive straight into, right? If this was collected, this, this issue... You know, if, if, if you could read, binge read, like, one through six, I don't think this note that I'm kind of going to talk a bit about really would matter. But, um, we're talking about it anyway, huh? Um, if I could go to number three, it, it kind of ends rough on an almost sour note. And that's not because of poor execution, right? Or, or it's not even really a strike against this issue. Uh, but it's the fact that you were left with this sudden, broken relationship. And it felt sudden. That's another part of it. It felt kind of like out of nowhere, right? Um, the timing was unprofessional for, like, this what, I, what this team felt like it was in issue one, right? Um, and the character was saying things that would apply to them in that situation, right? Uh, to to another character, so it's it's it was frustrating to me. <laughs> uh, since we have no context on how this team is assembled, right? You have no idea uh, of why they were put together or how. You have no idea, you know, behind these things. You're left with just frustration. Um, the whole situation feels like a shit show at the end. And, and it, again, it's not because of the individual parts of the team, but but how or even why they were assembled. Uh, again, it just it was very anxious throughout the whole thing, and then it ends on a frustrated note. Now, that's a trip. Um, this, however, I, I believe is a good thing once you can get to issue three. Because um, I feel the direction it has to go um, will justify a lot of this angst and, and pent-up aggression that it just leaves you with and with, with little, you know, justification for in terms of, you know, you expect this to be a professional team that knows each other. I have no idea, right? We have no idea that these folks were just thrown together. Is this their first mission, right? 
Um, maybe if I go back in issue one and there might be, this is my first time in the field, that might have been said in issue one. If so, that's my bad for getting issue one, right? Um, and that might be it, right? Uh, and that means that the time gap, again, is that, that happens with a lot of these creator-owned indie comics. It's not going to be felt by newer readers as it goes gain steam, which means it's going to land better, if that's the case. But doing that for me, I, like, I, I had similar issues with my own releases, um, where the time gap just does not serve, and I try to make issues as self-contained as possible. And reading this without having read number one again, maybe that contributed a lot to my frustration at the end of it, right? because I don't have that backlog. So that's just something, just, just a thought, right, from, from how I'm, I'm going through it. But um, I'll leave you with this. The negative here is only this. Uh, this issue took a massive risk not satisfying the reader at the end, even with a mission accomplished, and they, they did accomplish a mission. But they tossed the reader in the middle of a dysfunction, and it left me hoping that justification is served in number three. Um, every other note it decided to hit just built and flowed beautifully. Uh, the action scenes, um, building uh, uh, Adobe's character with with her her family life, I'm gonna call it, and with with her belief in in, in something more and in where she came from um, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, but again, ending as it did was risky. Um, it's a risk completely worth it if number three stays the course and provides some breathing room for the conflict number two, number one and number two left us with. That's my hope. Again, maybe some of that frustration would not be felt had I read number one again before reading this um, just now. But, honestly, eh, beautiful issue. So let me show you a couple more. Just some of this beautiful imagery in the onomatopoeias. Just wonderful. Um... This is what I'd call a busy page, right? It's busy on the writing, but it works. It actually works. And I, I was very impressed by that because I looked at this page and I'm like, oh, okay. But by the time you get to like this part, you get it. You get what she's doing. You get why it's taking so long. You're, you're in her head. Just absolutely wonderful. Uh, let's see. These city scenes, I adore. Just killer at them. In fact, I think he has opened both books. He says it's beautiful. Bit of scripture right there, which you can take a second to read if you'd like. Um, you get these building and cityscapes, right? It sets wonderful moods and um, sets the tone for the rest of the issue. And you get this wonderful action. Um, again, wonderfully crazy good indie book. I just need issue number three yesterday, right? And that's, that's a great thing to be able to say, but... Um, this issue in particular, as the sophomore issue, you could feel it, and I think that was the goal. Um, my hope is we get breathing in number three to explore what's been presented, and so it doesn't feel so pent up and and restricted by what's been presented. Again, it might not be so restricted had you read issue number one, uh, straight into number two, and then had something to move into. But yeah, that'll do it, folks. Again, check out Manverse comics.com Adobe Kroger Dame Commander 1 and 2 I'm sure are available on there um, there's a few other books from Mythoverse that I have checked out on Iverse Quickies please feel free to check those out as well if this intrigued you it is a shared mythological universe um, they feed into each other the lore feeds into each other and it's been wonderful to watch this talented group of creators put out amazing work and um Catch you next time on that rusty trail, folks. You take care.